Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to discuss uh, CCNA version 7 packet tracer activity, investigate HTTP loop prevention. Before coming to this activity, friends, if you like to get any CCNA project support or CCNA online classes, you can contact our team using our website. Link you will get from the description below. And also, if you like to get this type of technical videos in future, consider subscribing also don't forget to enable that bell icon near to the subscribe button so that you will get notification message whenever we upload a new video now back to our activity here we can see the objectives in this lab we will observe spanning tree port states and match the spanning tree convergence process so describe the operations of spanning tree protocol and explain how spanning tree protocol prevents switching loops while allowing redundancy in switch to the networks here is the scenario in this activity we will use packet tracer to observe the operation of a spanning tree protocol in a simple switch to the network that has redundant paths coming to instructions in part one observe a converged spanning tree instance step one verify connectivity Ping from PC1 to PC2 to verify connectivity between the host. Your ping should be successful. First of all, we will uh, verify the connectivity. We will ping from PC1 to PC2, and here we can see the IP address of PC2. It's uh, 192.168.1.101. Coming to PC1, we'll go to command prompt, and here we'll give the command ping the IP address of PC2 192.168.1.101. 101 then press enter and here we can see we get the replies in step 2 view spanning tree status on each switch use the show spanning tree vlan 1 command to gather information about the spanning tree status of each switch complete the table uh, for the purposes of the activity only consider information about the uh, gigabit trunk ports the fast Ethernet ports are access ports that have any devices connected and are not part of the inter switch trunk based spanning tree. Okay, we will use this show command uh, show spanning tree VLAN 1 and we will update our uh, table. First of all, we will go to S1, then CLI. enable and here we are going to give that show command show spanning tree it's a vlan one okay then press enter and we can see each port and its status in this result we can see the interfaces uh, gigabit the third and zero slash one and zero slash two and we can see its a role uh, status uh, its a forward also we can see other uh, information so here we can see the status it's a forward so it's forwarding so we'll give that here status okay it's a fwd this is also fwd Now we will let check uh, this uh, switch is a root bridge or not. So coming to this output here we can see a root ID its address it's a 0001 dot a 6448 dot C6 E7 and we can see the bridge ID of uh, this switch S1. So it's different that means so this S1 is not a uh, root bridge. So we can give no. Next, we will go to this uh, switch S2 and we will verify it. Enable show spanning tree VLAN 1 and we can verify the details. Here we can see these interfaces gigabit ether and 0 slash 1 and 0 slash 2. It's status uh, forwarding. Just I will copy this.
now we will verify whether this uh, switch is a root bridge or not uh, here we can see the root id priority address and here itself we can see they mentioned that this bridge is the root so this s2 is the root bridge and we can see the root id also we can see the bridge id here both are same so this is the root bridge we can specify that here s2 g0 slash 1 g0 slash 2 root to bridge yes now we will go to this s3 cli enable we will give the command to show spanning tree vlan1 and here we can see the details these two interfaces g0 slash 1 and g0 slash 2 we can see its status of forwarding and block and this, uh, this bridge is uh, not root to bridge so we can see g0 slash 2 is in block state so we'll update that it's a blk g0 slash 1 is in forward state then coming to root bridge now so here we can see our table is updated packet tracer uses a different link light on one of the connections between the switches so what do you think this link light means coming to our topology here we can see that a link between this s3 and s1 and here we can see this interface g0 slash 2 in this s3 uh, shows in amber color that means this port is not forwarding frames because a spanning tree blocked this port because uh, why it's blocked due to its redundancy i mean uh, here we can see a loop between all these switches s1 s2 and s3 so uh, using stp they blocked one port coming to the next question what path will frames take from pc1 to pc2 coming to our topology here we can see when we send a message from pc1 to pc2 uh, it goes to s1 then it will go to s2 not to s3 because we can see this port g0 slash 2 is blocked in this s3 so from S1 it will go to S3, then it will go to PC2. And why do the frames not travel through S3? Yes, we already told uh, here uh, on this switch S3, this port that is G0 slash 2 is uh, blocked by uh, spanning tree protocol. So when we send a message from PC1 to PC2 or from PC2 to PC1, uh, it won't go to S3. We can see it will go to uh, from PC1 it will go S1 then S2 then PC2. Coming to the last question here, uh, why has the spanning tree placed a port in blocking state? See, suppose all you just consider all these uh, uh, links are uh, forwarding or or I mean all these ports are in forwarding states. So what happens when uh, this uh, S1 uh, receives a frame, where it will send? It, it may send to s3 or it may send to s2 or it just like a, it works like a loop i mean obviously uh, there will be a loop exist in the network so what ha happens with the loop uh, loops can degrade network performance and even uh, this network may fail that's why this uh, spanning tree protocol keeps only one path from source to destination and all other ports blocked okay now just we'll go to part two observe spanning tree convergence step one remove the connections between s1 and s2 open a cli window on switch s3 and issue the command show spanning tree vlan1 leave the cli window open then select the delete tool from the menu bar and click the cable that connects s1 and s2 okay we will do that uh, just we will give this a show spanning tree vlan1 command in s3 
we'll go to S3 and we'll give that command enable show spanning tree VLAN 1 now we are going to delete the link between these switches S1 and S2 so just press a delete button from the keyboard then click on this uh, uh, cable right now coming to step 2 observe spanning tree convergence quickly return to the CLI prompt on a switch S3 and issue the show spanning tree VLAN 1 command okay we can do that just we'll go here and we'll give that same command again just press up arrow and press enter and we can see its state shows both forward then use the up arrow key to recall the show spanning tree vlan1 command and issue it repeatedly until the orange link light on the cable turns green observe the status of a port g0/2 okay so just to again we will reconnect and we will do that because we took some time to read these instructions so we will use this uh, copper straight through from g0 slash 2 to this g0 slash 1 and we will wait for the convergence okay now our network is converged now again we will give that a show command just press up arrow and uh, give it that now we can see this g0 slash 2 is in a blocking state Okay, now we are going to delete it and we are going to verify it. Press delete. Okay. Now we'll come here, press up arrow. And we can see the details. So still it's in block because it's in amber color. See now it's a listening. LSN so just press up arrow and press enter so that we can see its states g0 slash 2 now it's in LSN that is listening now we can see it's learning it's changed to LRN learning these are the different states of uh, uh, ports now we can see it's in forwarding state okay so uh, what do you see happen to the status of g0 slash 2 port during this process yes we have seen uh, first it was in blocking just we'll go through that so here we have seen lsn 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 yeah yeah, it was in uh, block state, then it goes to LSN, that is listening state. Then it goes to learning state. Here we can see that learning LRN. Then finally it goes to forward state. You have observed the transition in uh, port status that occurs as a spanning tree port moves from blocking uh, to forwarding state. Yes, we have seen that. Now we will go to C. Verify connectivity by ping from PC1 to PC2. Your ping should be successful. Yes, it should succeed because we have a path from PC1 to PC2. Just we will go to PC1, then we will go to command prompt and we can press up arrow so that we will get the previous command to be given. Then press enter and we can see it's working. Coming to the final question, are any ports showing an orange link light that indicates that the port is in a spanning tree state other than forwarding? Why or why not? Coming to our topology here, we cannot see any amber color uh, link. Because now we don't have any redundant path in this uh, uh, topology. We have only single path from PC1 to PC2, right? Okay, that's all in this packet tracer activity and it's only to understand this spanning tree protocol loop prevention.
Now, dear friends, if you have any doubt, any suggestions regarding this activity, please comment below. Also, if you like our video, give a thumb and share with all your friends. And also, if you like to get any technical support, you can contact our team using our website. Link you will get from the description below. Stay tuned and we will meet again with the next video. Thank you.